God sent his son into the world so that we can have everlasting life. But sir, don't go part of your life away because you can breathe your last breath tonight, sir. And if you die without salvation, my friend, you're gonna go to hell. Turn away from the fornication. All fornicators, the Bible says, will have their part in the lake of fire. And we are out here today to warn you of the judgment of God, that if you do not turn from your sexual morality, if you do not turn from your homosexuality, you are going to be judged at the judgment seat of God, my friends. And your judgment will be for eternity. If you do not turn from your drunkenness, my friend, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. You must come to the Lord and recognize that you are a sinner so that you can come to God and be set free. Today we want to preach to you the truth because it's the truth that sets you free. You shall know the truth, the Bible says, and the truth shall set you free. But you've got to be willing to come. You have to be willing to repent. You have to be willing to turn to the mercy seat of God. If not, sir, you're going to go to hell. This is what's going to happen at the end of your life. I know you think it's funny, but there's going to be something that's going to happen in your life. And you're not going to be here anymore, but you're going to be somewhere. And my friend, that's somewhere that you're going to be. If you die without forgiveness for your sins, it's going to be hell. And today we don't want nobody to go to hell. God doesn't want nobody to go to hell, but you have to repent. God is saying he's setting before you a choice, and tonight that choice is heaven or hell. He says, choose this day who you will serve. If you will continue choosing to serve your sin, my friend, you're going to go to hell. In the name of Jesus. But today you don't have to go to hell. You can choose to come to the Lord Jesus Christ today. But it's heaven or hell, my friends. It's heaven or hell. But you must be willing to repent. Jesus said, ma'am, so likewise, if you do not repent, you're going to go to hell. And this is the mercy of God tonight. God is wanting people to turn away from their wicked ways and come to the Lord. But you must be willing to repent. Hey, hey, loose them right now. Sir, Loose stop for a come second. Out. Come out right now. Stop for Sir, one you, second. Uh, stop listen, for one second and talk to me. Jesus Christ. We'll We're talking to you. And We're talking to you. What's going on? Talk to me. I'll, I'll yep. talk with you. Stop. Come on, talk to stop. me, sir. Uh, for one second. Uh, talk to me, sir. I'm, I'm listening. Now, quietly tell me. Huh? Quietly tell me what you're saying. I'm telling... What you want me to tell you what I'm saying, what yeah. our message is? Just quietly to me, just to me, please. Sir, we're pleading with people's soul to come to the Lord because there's a day of judgment coming. And there it, is. It, there is. No, no. Sir, you it's want not me? coming. It's not coming. It's here. Amen. It is here right now. I agree with you. I agree with you. It's here. Okay. That's why we're trying to warn people. I know. To, to I know. Going to hell, I know. And you're kind of distracting us. Do you yes. want prayer? Yeah, sir, I gotta, we, I gotta continue preaching, sir. We want sir. to sound the alarm to people. This is why we came. Freedom. This is what we need. Freedom. Amen. You got free on free your right. church. You free need right. freedom. Amen. We can pray for you for Amen. freedom, sir. You need prayer, sir. We love people. We love people. Sir. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. There is a lot of distractions in this world, my friends. A lot of things that compete for your attention. This world is a world of distractions and it is demonically designed to keep you from the most important thing in life. And the most important thing in life is the salvation of your soul. There is only one way of salvation and it is Jesus. There is only one way to eternal life and it is Jesus. There is only one mediator between God and man, and it is Jesus, my friend. The Virgin Mary cannot mediate between you and God. Your money cannot mediate between you and God. Your preacher can't mediate between you and God. There is only one mediator between God and man, and it is Jesus. And he gave himself up as a ransom for all to be a testimony in due time. And out here now tonight, we are out here as a testimony to warn you, ma'am, please get right.
right with God. Because time is running out. No, you need to go and get right with God, man, because God's not playing games. Better to be judged out here than to be judged by a holy and righteous God, ma'am. Turn to the Lord while there's still time. Turn to Jesus while there's still time. Get your life right with God because time is running out, my friends. We come out here to contend with your souls because you are on the broad way that leads to destruction. You are just living your life outside of the grace of God and you are in danger of judgment. You are living your life on the broad way that leads to destruction and we are pleading with you to turn to God. Turn to the Lord and stop living unrighteously. Turn to God, fellas. You're going to give an account to the Lord. You're going to be judged by God. You need to think about your soul. You, you up there in age and you don't know what's gonna happen to you tomorrow. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent and turn to the Lord. Repent and get right with God. Save yourself, sir, from this wicked and perverse generation and give your life to Jesus. Stop living in drunkenness. Ma'am, you will never find satisfaction in drunkenness. Drinking alcohol and getting drunk will only destroy you in the long run, my friend. Living your life getting high will only destroy you. The wages of sin, ma'am, is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Sin has a payment, my friend, and it's death. And this is what you see out here. There's a lot of death, a lot of dead men walking. You are dead in your trespasses and sins, my friend, and you must come to the Lord so that he can resurrect you to life. You have to come alive on the inside, and the only way to come alive is to come to Christ. Young kids, get right with God. Stop playing games. You stick the middle finger, sir, but there's a day of judgment coming. And today we are out here in the love of God contending with people who don't care about their soul. They are living life on the broad way that leads to destruction, and they are on their way to judgment. And ma'am, if they do not repent, they're going to go to hell. And this is what happens when you die without forgiveness for your sins, sir, you're going to go to hell. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us to deny ungodliness and worldly lusts, that we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. God's grace is available to all of us and it comes to teach us to deny ungodliness and to live holy. God's grace commands us to live holy. The word of God says, be ye holy for which I am holy. For without holiness, my friend, you will not see God. Sir, without holiness, you will not see God. God is calling people to a holy life and a true holy life is a life that is committed to Jesus Christ. A holy life can only come through a life that is committed to Jesus Christ. But you must repent, my friends. For Jesus said, so likewise, sir, if you do not repent, you're gonna go to hell. You're laughing now, but when you're in hell, you're going to be weeping and wailing and gnashing your teeth. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent, stop playing with your life. Turn to the Lord, fellas. Y'all across the street, you hear me talking. Y'all gonna stand before God. Get right with the Lord. Stop trying to chase the pleasures of sin. Get holy and get right with God. Get born again, for if you do not get born again, you will not enter the kingdom of God. 